Yeah, now, another thing I wanted to ask, since we're talking about what, how Russia and Ukraine is affecting us um, and cryptocurrency, right? And we see that Joe Biden is talking about regulating yeah. cryptocurrency. This week, we'll see something. So what does that mean? I mean, it could really mean a multitude of different things, depending on what kind of policy you lay out. Um, right now, we know that they're trying to do the CBDC coin. Mm -hmm. They got the government back one, mm -hmm. but they're trying to figure out how to do it because it's really complex right now. And if they roll it out the wrong way and they give themselves the power to destroy money rather than just create money, then you can also see things where they have bank runs where people decide to take their money out and then the people have more control over monetary policy than the government. So they're trying to figure out how to create it in the best way where also it's unhackable because what's going on with Russia and Ukraine and everything, it's a different type of war. It's an economic and a currency war that's going on. What is going on, Blockchain Monkeys? Eagle here, like, thank you for coming to my jungle. First of all, I'm no financial advisor whatsoever, nor am I professional in blockchain technology. But there is one thing that I absolutely will do, and that's give you my opinion. So today, we have got to go all over the crypto area. What you just saw was 19 keys dropping that heat. But ladies and gentlemen, they are basically putting that thing, that beautiful peach, right in front of your face. And you know what I'm going to do to it? Matter of fact, I ain't going to tell you what I'm going to do to it. But before we do that, I'm going to need you to go grab some shit, brother. Rub your hands real, real vigorously and slide down Twitter. Coming in hot from the golden pocket on DZ XRP. I bet y'all didn't know this about GG. This is Gary Gensler. Thanks. I work on the redesign of the currency. And I can tell you stories about why it looks the way it does. Mm -hmm. You can redesign paper currency. And for a future lecture, I'll tell you the one design feature that I stole the currency. Well, I'd like to hear about that, Gary. When I asked for it, you know, the fellow that wrapped the Urban Grayley said, why? And I said, because it looks better. And I'm the guy that's approving it. Yes, you are. Can we get it done? Can we work this Yeah, out? you had the persuasion. And it did look better. He loved it. He was worried about the political risk of doing it. It was a better design. He just, I said, I'll cover your board. I'll cover that story. Um, Thanks. I worked on the redesign of the currency. So now let's go to utility. Obviously, you better believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why the blockchain monkeys do the research that they do. We need to dig up underneath the surface. I mean, underneath the roots. Regulate Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies of this economy and the collapse of the dollar. And I want you to, I want you to listen carefully. Yesterday or day before yesterday. No, it was yesterday. Drop that heat, Glenn. Drop that heat. They, they actually uh, announced and, and showed it the new executive order to develop a plan to regulate cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Now, this is being heralded as a good thing because they kicked the can down the road. And that's true. And that's what's getting the headlines. However, however, it's inevitable that the government is going to attempt to regulate Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. We all know that's coming in one form or another. But something else that was tucked into that was worse. Something that has much bigger implications for the future of America than even anything happening in Ukraine or Russia. The same in the same White House announcement, instituting new regulatory schemes for cryptocurrencies. They also said they are going to direct the Treasury Department to urgently study the development of a potential U.S. central bank digital currency. A now, what have I been telling you, ladies and gentlemen, since like 2019? They've been working on this stuff. There's two levels to this thing. Yeah, they're telling you that they're doing this right now. But what have they been building underneath the surface? New digital dollar. Urgently study. Well, we know they the, the, the Fed is already doing a study and have been doing a study with the Hamilton Project with ML MIT on this for a long time. We've shown you the Treasury white papers all about digital currencies and what they plan on doing with the U.S. Fed dollar. They've done all of this. They've done it for the last few years. We know because we've seen their own white papers. But here's what they're doing now. Now they're making it public and with new urgency. 
They say within the next six months, the government is going to roll out a plan to create a new digital currency. This will mean the destruction of the dollar is coming. Your dollar is coming. Been warning about this for years, and the golden opportunity with the chaos in Ukraine, I think, has opened the door for the Biden administration because of inflation, gas prices, oil, everything, everything about your life will be different soon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jay Clayton. Your wonderful, beautiful, upstanding Jay Clayton. As you see here, Jay Clayton. Born July 11, 1966, is an American attorney who served as the chairman of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Same guy who dropped the hammer on XRP. Same guy who, after he left the SEC and then heads over to One River Asset Management Bank to go to a $2.2 billion hedge fund with BTC and ETH investors. How many licks does it take? To get to a center of attention. So what we're having this discussion is important to dispel some of those who say, well, it's a government spending. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. The government spending is doing the exact reverse, reducing the national debt. It is not inflationary. It is. Stop. I just want you to take a quick look at this. Blockchain monkeys, how are Stop. you, my friend? What's going on, my brother, man? It is great to see you, man. <laughs> you don't have to be rich to be taking uh, advantage of this. This was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. Blockchain. Blockchain. We talking about an intellectual tutu train. It's the LT up in these streets, man. That's why we rip all on that blockchain. So I wanted to give a huge shout out to Coach JB. He always brings the heat when it comes to XRP. Listen closely. So that's key. It's creating risk and it's creating opportunity. Remember, in pandemics, some of the richest people are made. The system will give. And from the ashes, we hope a new, more effective, inclusive and interactive way of managing our affairs will emerge. So that was really important. He said the old system will collapse and a new one will emerge. Global rebalancing doesn't happen overnight. Um, and yet, the fact that we're now starting finally to address the fundamental imbalances that exist between the realities of power in the world today and institutions that were created in a completely different world. Very thankful that we're starting that process. Okay, so very thankful that we're starting the process. They're telling you, we can't operate in the old archaic banking system, healthcare system, financial system, education system. They're moving us into a brand new world. This is the 2012 agenda, and I'm going to break down the 2030 agenda. This is a time when there is great innovation in how we decide things, where you know, civil society leaders and activists and sympathetic government officials and sympathetic private sector CEOs are driving action at the global level in a way that the official world no longer is able to. If you look around the world, um, we have the tools, we have technology, we have the knowledge, and we still have the capital to address these challenges. Any new model of global governance will have to have more power. And in order to have more power these days, it doesn't need more weapons, it needs more legitimacy. The pervasiveness of internet in society makes the problem. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Putting it right in front of your face. So huge shout out again to Coach JV for bringing us this info. And so coming in hot from Michael Val Five Links, the European Union will vote on Monday on a cryptocurrency framework proposal that could result in the banning of proof of work consensus assets. The high stakes vote is too close to call according to those inside the knowledge. And then last but not least, we got a swift ban on Russia. May sound important, but there are many ways a country can get around it. We stay about a swift, about a swift. We've been walking, we swept elders in these bushes. Bitcoin is talking. Welcome to crypto. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. I, 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 and we will all see each other on the moon.
Cause it's the standard in this bitch SRP I, I went to YouTube University And now they mocking me With no degree We say about a swift Keep it walking We smoking elders in these bushes Bitcoin is talking This was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth The world has ever fucking seen since World War II Blockchain Blockchain We talking about an intellectual choo-choo train It's DLT up in these streets, man That's why we rip all on that blockchain